So I've been training Jiu-Jitsu for about a year and a half now. I know, you know, just within that year and a half that I've, that I've been training, I've dedicated so much time to Jiu-Jitsu. You know, it's, it's, for me, it's almost like another, taking another six credits at, you know, in the university. That's how much time and effort and, and preparation I put into my Jiu-Jitsu training. And for these guys to spend, you know, 10 years, some of them 15 years training Jiu-Jitsu, is just really, at the same time, it's inspirational, and yet it's, it's kind of uh, scary, you know, just to think how much time they put into it. And, and you know, they, they're, they're good fighters, so all their effort really shows on the mats. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu becomes a lifestyle after a while. It's not just a sport. It's not just a martial art. Um, it changes your personality, it changes who you are. And for most people, I think it changes it for the better. I think it helps people. I almost don't have time for a different career because I'm so committed to seeing where this takes me because it takes me in such a positive direction. I was in horrible, horrible, horrible shape <laughs> when uh, I started Jiu Jitsu. I was literally 40 pounds heavier than I am right now. Uh, was in terrible condition. And that's how I know she loves me because she married me when I looked like that. So. <laughs> There's just so much there in terms of training that is applicable to life. Patience, perseverance, courage to do things that you never thought you could do, um, a sense of humor, being able to laugh at yourself, um, camaraderie with people, and having a connection with people that you maybe wouldn't necessarily otherwise have a connection with. I've gotten to meet a lot of people and make a lot of good friends from Jiu Jitsu. I've been to Brazil, Hawaii, California, various states, all just for Jiu Jitsu tournaments or to train. Uh, combine my vacation with training Jiu Jitsu, pick where I go on vacation based on what Jiu Jitsu they have there. Um, it's always something that it's basically, it's a lifestyle. Grappling is much larger than I drive to class, I learn a couple techniques, I roll around on the ground for a little bit and then I'm done. It, it permeates every aspect of my life and, and, and of who I am in what I consider to be a really positive way. I, I love it, I'm passionate about it, I have a great time doing it, I love to compete. Uh, it's very exciting to compete. Always, I'm always learning something new in jiu-jitsu despite the fact that I've been doing it for 10 years. There's always new positions, new submissions to learn. Uh, it's a never-ending never -ending journey. And it keeps it exciting and alive for me. And I think that's what it, a lot of people find appealing is that it's not stagnant. It's always fresh. It's always new. It's always being evolved to be the best martial art that it can be. Uh, the basic saying in Brazilian jiu-jitsu is that we take what works. And I'm, I'm kind of maybe more philosophical than a lot of people. But you know, you break down jujitsu into principles of how it's successful, and then it's up to you to apply that to other parts of your life. You know, if you're in a good position, if you just wait there and don't try to improve, you know, normally you'll lose it and something bad will happen. You know, you always got to be making yourself better, improving your position, you know. And I, I see a direct correlation between that and life. And I think that's cool. I have trained almost 11 years consistently. I've been a brown belt for um, about two years, coming up on two years. So I've put 
a good amount of my waking time into jiu-jitsu. For a good two years, I was training six, seven days a week unless I got injured. Just put every spare second I had into it, every dollar I had into a magazine or a video that came out with one technique that I didn't know, or a seminar, or whatever it may be. But uh, I've spent a, a good part of my life getting where I am in jiu-jitsu. Jake Young started here uh, quite a few years ago. I remember him coming in as a freshman. Uh, he had an excellent wrestling background and he quickly got really good at judo, but uh, I also remember being able to throw him around at will and quickly he got better and better. Jake's one of those guys that's a quick study. You show him a move and two or three times he'll practice it and he's got it down for life. So it's a really joy to show him something because he you know he's gonna walk out in five minutes and chuck somebody around with that same throw. I would, you know, cut off one of my hands to have just a tenth of his athletic ability. He's someone uh, I love to train with because it's always a challenge. Uh, not only is he big, not only is he strong, not only is he fast, he's very technical, very talented guy. Um, the Worlds this year, first time being held in the United States. Every other year it's been in Brazil. Uh, everybody's anxious to see how that's going to play out. My bracket uh, for the Worlds, brown belt, adult, um, just basically up to 29 years old. I'm 29 years old, it's my last year to do the adult division. And they make you weigh in right before your first match so there's no cutting weight. You have to be a true on whatever your weight is. Some people like that, some people don't. Uh, I have to be 181 with the gi, so I try to be around 176, 177 without the gi on. Eight minutes and go again.